Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiana May, aka T, and Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year, guys. We made it, 2024, woo woo woo, we made it. Speaking of New Year's, in my previous video, my yearly wrap up video, I mentioned that I have a very specific goal. Also, this year I have a reading goal where I want to read one physical book every single month, which means that by the end of the year, this time next year, I should have read 12 physical books and however many audiobooks I end up consuming. And upon saying that, a lot of you guys actually DM'd me and messaged me on Instagram, letting me know that actually some of you guys might want to partake in the reading challenge that I'm doing. So I'm very pleased to announce to all of you guys here on the interwebs here today on this day, on this day today, the launch, the birth, the creation of the Community Book Club of 2024. So this year I'll be reading one physical book every month, which will come up to obviously a total of 12 books across the year and before I tell you what books I'm gonna read I need to set some ground rules set some golden rules and just give you guys kind of the framework the, the aims and objectives if you will so the first rule have fun this is supposed to be fun it's supposed to be explorative we're supposed to be having a good funky fresh girly pop time rule number two you do not have to read the books that I'm reading I will provide a reading list but let's say a book has as something that you're not particularly interested in reading maybe something triggers you or whatever like anything just swap the book out I don't want you to be forced to read it just because your favorite youtuber is reading it okay with that being said make sure to actually google all of the trigger warnings and all of the content warnings and all the things that they kind of flag on websites without giving you spoilers also number three don't feel bad if you can't finish a book in a month. Really and truly, this is just supposed to ignite your love for reading. This is what's supposed to be for me anyways, but if you don't finish a book in a month or let's say you read half of the book and you're kind of like bored with it and you want to like start a new book, feel free to do that. It's really just to make sure that you're consistently reading throughout the year. And finally, number four, whilst I'm personally going to be reading, hopefully, 12 books that are physical books. You can consume it however you want. You can do an audio book. You can have the physical book, like buy the physical book, or you can go to your local library if they have it in there. Please don't feel pressured to buy, like physically pay with money because I realized that there was a lot of privilege in owning a physical book and also just being able to like, buy a book there's a lot of money involved in that and like not everyone is in financial positions enough to buy physical books but libraries are free and also some libraries actually offer audiobooks for free as a part of the library service so really check in and look and see if your library offers that because that's low-key a hack okay so now that we've gone through all the rules here are the books as most of you guys are aware if you're watching this in real time this video is being released in the second week of January. So obviously we don't have a full month. January technically has five weeks. It's kind of like two and a half really. So I think for the month of January, everyone, instead of starting a whole new book, if you have an old book, or one that you were supposed to, you know, have finished in 2023, but you didn't really finish it. Or if you have a short story, or if you have an audio book that you really just want to listen to, I would say do that in January. But other than that, I have no other terms and conditions and little notes and stuff to add. So here, here, here are the months, here are the months and the books, okay? Here's the real tea, here's what you, you skipped ahead for. Okay. In January, I'll be reading Cleopatra and Frankenstein by Coco Mellors. Now, you might be like, oh, Tiana, didn't you say you were reading that ages ago? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I started it in 2023 and I did not finish it in 2023. I went on holiday. I had free time. You know, obviously I was doing my uni stuff in the beginning of the year, but I had free time and I low-key could have finished it, but I didn't. I am like a third in. I could knock this out in a couple weeks. I'm sure I can if I just put my head down and do it, but yeah. So I'm definitely spending January finishing an old book. For February, I will be reading These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. As February is like the month of love, yada, 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 stuff like that. 
I figured it would make sense that we had some kind of like love story in February and obviously OG love story is Romeo and Juliet ignore all the problematic stuff and all the things that is bad and wrong about Romeo and Juliet but anyways this <laughs> book is apparently based on Romeo and Juliet or like has some kind of like forbidden love element to it I don't know but it was recommended to me by one of my best friends so Thank you, shout out to Melody. <laughs> and I'm very excited to read it because the cover is like really cool and I've seen it before, like in and around bookstores, but I never picked it up. So hopefully it's good. In March, my birth month, I've decided to read something I've been wanting to read for a long period of time, which is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Mm-hmm. I knew that name off by heart. <laughs> I really don't know anything about this book other than that all the girlies on BookTok were like reading it all 2022, I think, or 2021, whenever, a long period of time ago. And let me just say, no one put no spoilers in the comments, please. Allow all of us who are getting to know these books to get to know them. Unless they're funny spoilers, but not spoiler spoilers, but like, OMG, these emojis with no context, hee hee hee, you know? Something funny. <laughs> For April, I'll be reading a book called The Housemaid's Secret by Frieda McFadden. I thought April, the number four, is usually like associated with open. And I think the book cover or like one of the book covers has someone behind the door lock thingy, like looking through. And I thought that was like kind of funny just to put in in April. It's also a psychological thriller and I've never read a book of that genre before. I love movies of that genre but I've never read a book of that genre so I'm super excited to see what that's like. In May I'll be reading Almonds by Son Won Pyeong and this book was recommended to me by a creator on YouTube, a book talk creator also but he mainly focuses on YouTube and I've never read a book by a Korean author. Yes for the years I was spending learning Korean I actually never read a book in Korean that wasn't an educational book but the thing that was interesting when I was researching obviously the names of the authors and stuff I saw random pictures of Namjoon from BTS reading the book. It must be good because he's the reading queen so I'm very excited. In June, I'll be reading The Wishing Game by Meg Schaffer. And I'm not gonna lie, I literally picked this just because the cover was cool <laughs> when I saw it on a website. I do that sometimes where I kind of just like close my eyes and pick willy nilly and just pick a random book and then that's the book I'm gonna read and then I'm, gonna, I'm gonna love it. That's what I did with The Knife of Never Letting Go. I just saw the cover and the title and I was like, what is that? read it and then was obsessed. In July, I have another recommendation from Melody. She's very well read, so I trust her recommendations. It is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. It's really cool because it's about some girl and she's doing her extended project in, I assume, sixth form. And it's about a murder that's happened in the town and I guess she's gonna solve it. I love a whodunit. I love discovering, I love watching crime shows. So I feel like a crime book and like a murder mystery book will be my cup of tea. In August, I will finally be reading the Percy Jackson series. And obviously I'm starting with the very first one, The Lightning Thief. I know that the books are really great because everyone who's around my age still raves on about them. So clearly, they are very, very good and I love Greek mythology. In September, I'll be reading Alone With You in the Ether by Olivia Blake. I don't really know much about this book. I know it, it, I think it has some doctors in it or something. Honestly, the title is what got me to put in my list. Next up in October, we have a book by an author I've read from before. We have a book called Earthlings by Sayaka Murata. She wrote one of my favourite books. It was The Convenience Store Woman. I loved the book. It was short, so if you need a short book to read, if you don't want to read any of these big books that I'm reading, that's one of the books I recommend because it's such a good, quick, but very, very good book. I'm excited to read another thing by her. I've heard that this book is weird and I need to know how weird. How weird is weird? I need to know what's going on. In November, I will be reading 
this book, Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Everisto. I actually picked this up in 2020 when I was on the way to Korea for my year abroad. I was so bored just walking around aimlessly and I got to the airport super early because of COVID. I had already bought snacks and stuff like that. So I was good on that front. So I was walking through, just looking around. And then I saw this. The book cover just reached out to me and basically told me to buy it. And now, many years later, after being in Korea and never really reading it, I think I read literally like the first page, I'm like, oh, I should read that book. And finally, in December, I'll be closing off the year with The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. According to Google, the story follows a young French woman in 1714 who makes a bargain with the dark that makes her immortal, but curses her to be forgotten by everyone she meets. The whole premise of the book sounds really fun and interesting. And this has actually been collecting cobwebs in my Notion database for books for a long, time like for a while so I'm very excited to finally check that off of my list and close the year with it. So that's all the books I'm going to be reading this year. Feel free to add to the list, take away from the list, do whatever you want. The main goal is just to try and read as many books as you can this year. Also feel free to swap out books if new ones that you're interested in come out during those months. And at the end of every single month I'll actually be coming and checking in with you guys, letting you guys know how my reading's going, let you know you know any thoughts, any reviews that I have for the books that we've read in the month and hopefully we can converse in the comments you know just share it'll be like a real book club if we actually kind of share stuff in the comments so please fill it up with random stuff i wish we could put like memes in there oh how i wish i'll be sure to put the reading list in the description in case you guys want to access it later on and also i'll make a community post so you guys can just check it whenever you guys want to also i'll post it on probably twitter or maybe threads whichever one also make sure to follow me on all of my social media whilst i'm talking about it follow me on tiktok and also threads and twitter and instagram gosh you have so many social medias now huh <laughs> so many and also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel you're here already you might as well hit subscribe sometimes youtube doesn't send out the notifications to everyone so make sure to have the bell clicked and you'll be notified when i post so yeah that's me that's the book club that's everything that's the reading list all that stuff is in the, in the description and the comments i shall be seeing you in the next video thank you for watching happy reading and happy new year bye, oh my gosh, bye.